everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak generally everything about warpets. Uh, in order for you to make a perfect warpet, warpet for you, you need to understand how all of these systems work how skill in inheritance work, how you can uh, generally choose which warped will be amazing to build on. Or maybe you just want to know how the skill transfer work in order to not make any mistakes. For that, today we are going to uh, speak about every single topic which is necessary for you to uh, build an at least good warped. That's why uh, this video will be very, very helpful for you. First of all, I need to speak that uh, base attributes matter. Uh, you might uh, understand and you might think that base attributes is just numbers, but that's the most important aspects on how maybe your damage dealer warpet is working in the game. Simply because on your main skills, like every single skill of the warpet, uh, is determined by those attributes, which means the higher attribute you will have uh, on your warpet, more useful your skills will be. Uh, that's why like people sometimes forget and they only uh, unlike mention their uh, like attention to the skills but uh, skills won't gonna do anything if your attributes is really really bad for the attributes you need to have a legendary warped because that's how you have a highest amount of attributes s tier s tier is giving you always the higher amount of uh, like attribute percentage depending on your level of course Let's say we understood that the attributes are one of the main uh, things about warpets. Uh, it's easy to understand that uh, legendary warpets is already the ma main and most important choice. I understand in the past when warped system just introduced, it was not that easy to have a legendary warped because beasts on the battlefield on the map uh, was low levels. So we did not have any regeneration potions, but as you can see, as a 100% free-to-play player, it got really, really easy to get a legendary warped. Uh, beasts levels rising up. Also, we are getting more uh, regeneration potions. So, it's much easier to uh, get a legendary warped. Uh, let's say we understood how the attribute system works. Uh, first of all, whenever you want to choose like which attribute will be main uh, for yourself, you just need to click on the main skill of the warped. Uh, and there is like determined by intelligence after that you will go to the skills of the warpets and you will just look at the synergies of the main skill and you will just see it, which kind of attributes is main so here main attribute is intelligence second synergy skills attribute is intelligence so we are already understand that main attribute is already intelligence on this uh, warped uh, the third skill is spirit so it's pretty easy uh, we already have two attributes which will be main for the shadow of edric for example and you can do it with any other warped there any other main skill of the warpets so like in the future if i will build the shadow of edric i will try to get a legendary one and my main attributes intelligence and spirit should be uh, s tier that's already like easy to understand uh, everything is connected here so as i mentioned it got really easy to um, like make a warped to the legendary one and the regeneration is in another system in the warped uh, mechanic uh, where you are getting some regeneration potions and you are kind of refreshing your uh, warped if you have it uh, and if you will like what you're gonna see uh, refreshed, you're just gonna click on save and the uh, right warped will be become your main warped. But here is some tricks. Uh, every single stat, even skill slots uh, are random. So every single click on a regeneration potion, you might get uh, even less skills uh, slots, even more skill slots. And of course, rarity is the main idea. Uh, you are trying to get a legendary one here. Legendary is like at least five to six uh, slots. And of course, attribute should be mainly a tier. That's the way to go. And after the events where you can generally get regeneration potions. And of course, uh, daily quests give you one per day uh, on the chest. Uh, you like you can already like collect some amount. And of course, merit shop is giving you 10 or 11 regeneration potions so like it's it got really really easy to 
uh, like changes the warp it maybe you you like your skill because skills always stay uh maybe you like your skill and you want to make it like legendary one for the better stats and more skill slots you can always go for the regeneration system actually that's how i got most of my legendary uh, warp it's uh, because i like uh, catching uh, higher level warp it just gave me better skills not in terms of rarity that's my own experience uh, now like uh, Finally, we are in the step where we can speak about skills, like we understand that uh, attributes matter, rarity matter, we know how to change the attributes and rarity with the regeneration. Now, like the most uh, visible and most important fun about uh, like war pets are skills. First of all, doesn't really matter about like main idea of the skills until after the updates is that we can get uh, by catching one star at least one star uh, war pit main skill. I would highly recommend to not start building your war pit if you don't have at least one star on the main skill because difference is huge. Like for example, you might catch a legendary war pit, you might have a perfect uh, attributes, uh, but your main skill is zero star uh, like this one, for example. And I would not recommend to uh, build around the warp it to spend a lot of uh, resources especially for free to play player and in the end you will understand that your warp it is way worse than uh, like at least having a one star skill on the main skill of the warp it actually it got even easier to get one star because as a free to play player you can see i have one star on night rock i have one star on venomous lizard uh, snow peak rock uh, frost bear so it's not that hard you just need to just Try to catch it every single day. You have at least two warrants, and try to spend it. You are it's like a quest, and like you don't need to uh, spend money or you don't need to spend a lot of time to catch the warpits. And you might get lucky, and after you have a one-star skill on the main skill, uh, that means your warpit is ready. That's the that's the only way I, how I find out that my warpit can be built whenever I have one star on the main skill. So, for example. We understood that the stars of the skills matter, every single skill, more star it has, it's even better. Uh, but it's actually easy to get, easier to get the two star skills or even three star, star skills uh, rather than the main skill because the only way of getting, <clears throat> only way of getting the uh, one star skill on the main skill is by catching and getting randomly lucky. Uh, another way, for example, how you can exchange your skills uh, by the from the one warp it to another. Let's say, for example, this snow peak rock has zero star on the concentration main skill, and this snow peak rock has a one star. Uh, I could easily uh, click on skill inheritance, which means uh, my first snow peak rock, which has a with better stats, attributes, and it's legendary warp it with a no star on the main skill. If I will choose the Snow Peak Rock with one star skill, every single skill will be transferred on this Snow Peak Rock and the giver will just disappear. It's only reason to use it whenever you have a star on your main skill and on the left side on the receiver you don't have star and your attributes matter here because for this one attributes are much better. That's another way how you can utilize your warpet, how you can exchange it should it, it should be easier because at first this uh, skill inter inheritance was pretty awkward nobody was even trying it because a lot of people lost a lot of uh, skills uh, but you, you need to understand there is only one simple rule uh, for example on giver i have five skills uh, which will be transferred and main idea is that i need to have at least five empty slots in order to transfer all of the skills uh, after the transfer will be finished, the giver will be disappeared and your main Snow Peak Rogue will be uh, having one star concentration because we just gave it from the uh, better uh, giver. That's a skill inheritance uh, like system. It's pretty easy to understand, uh, but still people make mistakes. That's why uh, like it was time for me to speak more uh, deeply about the system. Uh, for example, we understand that one uh, like star on the main skill matters. So we know how to use skill inheritance, but generally I don't think that you are going to use the inheritance a lot. Your main uh, like place, uh, how, where and how you can build the uh, warp it is in this learning skills 
uh, page uh, and as you can see for example here i have uh, two skills and one empty slot how you can generally unlock these slots is really really easy you are just clicking on the uh, empty slot and you have it like you can choose uh, how you can uh, unlock this slot you can use uh, your skills which you have uh, in order to like uh, uh, one will be added and percentage will is going up and you might get lucky there is a 10 percent chance that if i will use this dauntless here the skill will be unlocked uh, but maybe you don't want to spend your own um, skills of course you're gonna click on prioritize and un click on prioritize you already own skill and you are simply going to just buy uh and uh, like there is 40 percent chance that this uh, like unlocked skill uh point will be uh unlocked 50 percent let's just try like now i'm getting unlucky but still there is okay that's the horrible way that's the most uh, you will do like 100% uh, is like the worst possible way of uh, doing it but I have had uh, as unlocked uh, this slot with like 10% so it's still some like uh, ingredient here but this is how generally unlocking uh, uh, skill slots um, work uh, let's say we have unlocked skills and we want to I uh, like here you can see there is a zero skill uh, skill warpets one skill warped skills uh, two, star, two star and the three star three star is actually really hard to get you are getting it from the season ending rewards and you are getting it from this uh, uh like chests uh, like chances 3.3 percent that you're gonna get three star skill that's why uh, it's not that easy for a free to play players other than that i would recommend to at least learn skills which will be one star and learning the skills uh, it's quite actually not that hard you are just choosing uh, like your own skill and you can choose whichever skill you want to exchange this is why this system is one of the most free to play uh, friendly systems in the game because, because you actually can choose which skill you want to exchange from for the skill you have uh, but for that you need to have the currency uh, the currency which you will buy some uh, skills <clears throat> and you will try to build around mainly the warped system works like this you are trying to get uh, at least one star on your main skill after that you are collecting the skills which you want to add and depending however you want to build your warped uh, and after that you are trying to make it a legendary warped by regeneration and like simply you are like waiting until you will get lucky uh, by catching and uh, like flying the uh, skill like warpets away you of course you have chance to receive one skill which uh, your uh, living warped will give you or regeneration potions or some quest items so there is a chance you can collect these skills and and you just need to get lucky in order to get the warped skill you want to have on your warped and whenever you're gonna catch it you will just go on a skills tree and choose the skill you're gonna click on learn then you're simply exchanging and that's why i said uh first skill is important because uh, that's how you are building your warped out of the first skill this is pretty easy <clears throat> Of course, uh, it's easy because I already understand I have done it many, many times. But at first, it might get kind of awkward. You, you, awkward, you might not understand how you can get the skills in general um, uh, from the warpets and how you can actually build the warpets. So, like, I will give you a simple, simple way. Uh, don't look at the rarity at first. Don't look at the base attributes at first. Just try to get one star main skill. After you're gonna get one star main skill, in meantime you are collecting as much regeneration potions as possible. So and finally you can like whenever you're gonna get one star main skill, you are regenerating your <clears throat> warped as like until you're gonna get legendary warped. Uh, legendary warped with at least primary intelligence spirit uh, legendary attributes because uh, like for shadow break that's the main attribute attributes and like in the meanwhile like uh, i i like mostly at least in a one week you should get a legendary warped by the regeneration potions let's say you get legendary warped you got intelligence spirit on s tiers and you have a one star main skill then you are just meanwhile until you're gonna get all of that you are farming the warpets you are collecting the skills um like maybe you will get lucky and you will have the skill you want 
but mostly you will have skills which you will be able to sell uh, for the tokens and you will be using those tokens to get at least synergy skills of the main skill uh, like every single uh, skill of the warped main skill has a three uh, like warped skills which is which is mandatory to have on your uh, warped that's how you are generally going to build warpets in this game which is pretty fun activity like i have never seen in a kingdom builder game a system like this at first of course it was awkward because it was a new system nobody has ever done it uh, that's why people was not really touching it but uh, like uh, whenever game is progressing through and through i'm seeing that uh, this warped system got integral part of the whole game it's like another gameplay which is very funny and also we are getting more and more warpets in the game like for example i, I, I like shadow of age rake is a newest one and i i think every season we are getting at least two new warpets which is pretty cool uh, i know that for a pay to win players it's it gets much much easier to build warpets but for pay to win players it's much easier to do anything in this game uh, that's why I made this channel to speak for the free-to-play players and maybe if pay to win come and uh, give their opinion about the videos will be always fine because I like to have a discussion about the warpits in general or in general about the games. Uh, this is like in general how you can master everything about the warpits uh, like attributes, rarities, skill inheritance, regeneration, skills, learning uh like every single aspect of the skills and how warpets and how warped building is done we just spoke now it's time for you to try it try to build the best version of the warped which you think because trust me like uh, my sapphire drake is almost done and i'm really really happy about it i understand that once like a lot of people have two star skills but as a free-to-play player i'm uh, like satisfied with these stars on the skills and about the attribute that's how i, I build my warpits uh, this is my snow peak rock i uh, i know i need to exchange this gentle breeze and the beast mark uh, but i'm i'm trying my best to get the chain strike skill uh, which i have never got in this game so like um, I, I have one chain strike and it's a great synergy and yeah, almost every single uh, warped I have has a one star main skill. That's what I have been farming. Uh, that's what's my aim. As you can see, this Nitro has a legendary rarity. Uh, like attributes are not good, like honestly, but I kept it because I have a lot of uh, skill slots which I can uh, unlock and use it. That's like uh, if I'm losing some attributes, but I got a lot more uh, skills. So like. Yeah, it's it's doing good like that's what my that that's what my generally decision that's how i went it and of course when i'm a lizard that's my main uh, legions which i have i generally play as a marksman that's why I, like my main priority have been nitro and snow peak rock and of course for one mage legion sapphire fair Drake. i hope you understood what how in general warped system work uh, it's not that hard, but you need to try it, so after we will try it, it will be much, much easier. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this small guide will help you to improve your warped section in this game, because it's pretty fun. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you are having an amazing day, night and uh, morning, depending whenever you are. If you like the content, press like, subscribe, uh, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to, more, to make more videos about the game. Thanks for watching, uh, bye bye, I'm gonna see you very very soon.